Hey ladies and gents, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to my Virtual Red V4 install tutorial for the PC. I'll post standard links in the description of this video. Before you seek help, please check out my FAQ, which is a pinned comment, as your question may already have been answered. What do you get in the Virtual Red V4 patch? Real teams, real players, real 2021-2022 kits, all the latest transfers, real mini faces, over 700 real stadiums with realistic turfs and lighting, real trophies, newly created entrance tunnels, crowd chants, goal songs, a massive selection of footballs and so much more which you can read on the download page. Now let's just jump straight into the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is download a torrent, whether that's uTorrent, BitTorrent, whatever. I'm going to use uTorrent for this example. And you can just download the free client just here. Once it's finished downloading, click on that EXE in the bottom left hand corner. Click next, next, agree, untick, install Opera GX. Click next, untick, install Spy Hunter. Make sure you leave all those ticked and leave those ticked as well. And then click launch or well, finish to launch. So now we've got this open. What we can do now is go to the virtual red website. I'll leave a link to the description and you'll have direct downloads up here and torrents down here. So the first thing you want to do is click on part one. Click download, go back to the patch and go to part two, click download, part three, download, part four, download, part five, download, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Okay, so once you've got all 16 parts, just make sure they're there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so we've got all the torrents. And then what we're going to do is just drag and drop those into here. And then it's going to tell you where you want to save it. Now make sure you've got a lot of disk space. These mods are going to take up serious, serious disk space. So I'm going to put it into, I've got somebody just drives here. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to call it virtual red. And I'm going to click OK. Going to do exactly the same. Part three. In fact, a quicker way to do this is going to be, watch this. I select the folder up here. It's going to have my, this is save in. I can just copy that, click OK. I can just control V to paste it up here. Or you can right mouse click and click paste. Whichever is easier for you. I think control V works for me a little bit better. Once you've done that, while that's churning away, we can go back and do exactly the same for the stadiums. Part one, Bosch. Nice and easy. Part seven, part eight, part nine, part 10. 11, 12, and 13. What we're going to do is grab these stadiums. We've got all 13 parts of the stadium. 
Again, drag and drop in here. If the advert blocks it like it did for me there, you just have to do it again. So I just alt tabbed and I'm just going to drag and drop again. And it's found the location that I want to save it to. Click OK. There we go. So I'm just going to expand this a little bit just to make sure we've got them all. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so like I said, I'm literally just going to go go sleep on this. And uh, I'll wake up in the morning. Hopefully it's all going to be done. Otherwise I'll just be waiting a few, few days and weeks. <laughs> However long it takes. So let's look at the the, uh, the di direct download for the fixed file. So let's go to media file, click download, and then the edit file, direct download. So while those are downloading, you know, it says before the installation of V4, I recommend you manually delete the live CPK folder from your eFootball Pez 2021 folder. So that's the default path. That's not mine. That, that's so what you need to do is I've got a quick link to eFootball and you've got the live CPK here just delete that out so we can't really do much now until these are finished downloading so once you have downloaded all of the RAR files just check to make sure you've got the correct file sizes because you don't want any of these files to be corrupt or anything like that. So just have just to double check these file sizes are correct before proceeding. Once you're happy, you want to take the part one, just right mouse click and extract here. And what that's going to do is start extracting the patch with the exe file, but it does extract all of these. So you don't have to do each one of these individually. You're going to see the part number change just here. So just wait for that to be finished. And complete.
Once it's extracted, just double click on the EXE. Then you're going to want to navigate to your eFootball PES 2021 folder. Make sure you select the common folder because the PES eFootball PES 2021 folder is already populated. So make select, sure you select common. So Steam, Steam apps, common, and then you're good to go. Click OK, click Next, and then click Yes. And then click Install. So the next thing you want to do is extract the stadium server. So go to part one, right mouse click and click extract files dot dot dot. And then you want to locate your eFootball PES 2021 folder. Like I'm doing here. And in that folder, there is content. And if you've already installed stadium server before you're going to see it just here anyway but make sure you've selected the content folder click ok and then click yes to all Now you want to right mouse click on the fix file and click extract files and then you want to navigate to your steam steam apps common and eFootball pez 2021 folder click ok tap yes to all and then just wait for that to finish
And then for the edit file, just right mouse click on that, click extract files. And this time you're going to navigate to your documents folder, Konami, eFootball PES 2021 season update. Then you're going to have like a, a number here, just tap on that. And then in the save folder, click OK. And then click yes to all. Now you can delete all these bin files. And if you really want to, you can delete all the RAR files as well. Now, if you just navigate back to your desktop, you should be able to find the virtualred.com patch 2021 version four. Just double click on that to launch PEZ and you're all done. And there you have it, ladies and gents, Virtual Red version four installed on your PC. If you did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you have any questions, drop a comment below. I'll be sure to help you guys out. Anyway, that's all for me, ladies and gents. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.